What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we're looking at the Crash Bandicoot action figure by Head Start. I think that's the company that's behind this toy line. Anyway, this is my first time seeing this figure. I never knew this existed. I've never seen this at retail either. I bought this at a small toy shop for like $12 uh, while I was out of town. And I picked it up because it seems like a good Crash figure that's going to scale with a lot of other video game action figures. Or I guess I should say like a good modern Crash figure, which I'm sure it pretty much is. It looks like it's based off of, um, a Crash 4. So that's cool. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the packaging. So uh, here's the figure right here. And then it comes with an accessory. Uh, just one accessory. Uh, that's all you're going to get there. But, you know, we got the Crash Bandicoot logo here. And it says Wave 1. So there's actually multiple figures in this wave. And there's probably a Wave 2, I I. I think i don't know but anyway yeah it says exclusive mass in a stand oh i didn't even know there was a stand that or maybe that thing comes with a stand i don't know yet but uh, 11 points of articulation and then here is uh the back right here so these are the figures right here in this wave so we got basically two variants of crash and then they have coco and dr neo i didn't see coco or dr neo uh the store only had just these two uh, so maybe I'll pick these up. It kind of depends how much I really like this figure uh, But who knows I probably will cuz I you know, I do like crash bandicoot So this is probably something I'll probably go, you know all in on maybe but you know, here's the rest of the bottom the barcode and Yeah, pretty much that so yeah, that is pretty much the packaging right there So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this out of the box and take a closer look Okay, so here they are out of their packaging, and so far, this is actually pretty decent. Now, this is aimed towards kids, so, you know, it's not going to have all the details. The paint's not really going to be the best, and the articulation's going to be limited, so it's going to be a really, like, basic uh, crash figure, but it's okay. I think the price I pay for it, it's, it's fine. I'm, I don't know how originally the price was. It was probably, like, 10 bucks. Uh, but I mean, so far it's it's okay. It's not anything crazy wise. Uh, so here is the accessory. So here we have Aku Aku. So you have this stand right here, which is really really cheap though. But you know it comes with this stand to have you know Aku, you know kind of floating really. Uh, you can't really put the mask on Crash, uh, unfortunately. That would have been really cool if you could. But you know it has like this you know peg hole right there uh, for the stand. But yeah, that's pretty much you know all there is really now here is crash so this crash it's okay um the expression i wish it was maybe a uh, different more expressive because you know crash is always really expressive so maybe like him showing the teeth or you know the tongue out or whatever would have been cool but i think this is all right uh the sculpt isn't too bad though i think the head sculpt is pretty good uh you have like you know the gloves there's actually some details uh you know for the palms right there which isn't too bad uh, unfortunately the um, the fingers uh, and then this part right here and then the legs aren't gonna match um, you know the fur here going on here with the torso and the arms but everything else is painted pretty well you know like the eyes the inside of the ears uh, the sculpt on the eyebrows and the hair they did uh, pretty well though uh, I do like that even the kind of fur going on the inside of the ear you know it, it's not too bad and then you know the pants they look fine uh, the shoes uh, the paint's not really the best though, like for the white uh, outsoles for the shoes. And then here's uh, the bottom of the shoes right there. You see they got like some details going on there. Then there's peg holes at the bottom. Uh, but he didn't come with a stand though. But overall, I mean, this Crash figure, it's not too bad really. You know, it, again, it's a, it's a really uh, basic Crash figure. But I think it's okay. Uh, the paint on mine though, like for this eye, uh, isn't the best though. You can see it looks like it got chipped or so. But overall, it's, you know, it's okay. I think it's it's, it's fine. I feel like it's probably going to be the cheapest Crash figure you're going to get. Or even if you don't own a Crash figure, you know, I think this will be okay to add to your collection. Now, the articulation. I thought there was going to be a head turn because of the cut right here. Uh, there's no head articulation at all, though, unfortunately. So, no head articulation there. But for the shoulders, you do get a hinge, which honestly goes up about here. So that's good. Uh, you know, of course, you have your full rotation out of the shoulder right there. Uh, you have single jointed elbows, which just goes 90. That's okay. You know, it, it's fine. But you have your single joint elbows there. And then you have your wrist articulation. There is waist articulation as well. So this is perfect because, you know, Crash, he spins. So this is going to be 
fine. You're definitely going to need that waist articulation for, you know, a crash figure. So that's fine. The hips on this figure is actually pretty bad. Uh, you know, you can go forward about here, but for whatever reason, it just wants to tend to go back down. I'll try this leg, and it's the same way. Like, it just doesn't want to go at all. So the hips just aren't really the best on this guy. And then kicking back, you can't because of the, you know, the butt piece right here being a hard PVC. So, yeah, the hips on this guy sucks. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that joint. I just can't really make it to kick up though so yeah the hips aren't the best on this figure but the single jointed knees you get this much range which is okay there's no swivel or anything going on there and that's pretty much that no ankle articulation like i said it's really it's a really basic uh cheap like crash figure honestly you know so that's like your 11 points of articulation Okay, and now for some figure comparison, here is Crash next to some other video game icons. So we have the Jack Specific Sonic figure, and then that's the SH Figure Arts uh, Mario figure right here. And I think this actually still works well, because I know Crash, he's he should be taller than them, because, you know, his he's kind of like lengthy tall, and his torso is like elongated, really. Uh, I don't know exactly how tall he is, really, but I know he's definitely supposed to be... Uh, pretty lengthy tall compared to these two right here so I think this does still work here but you know you can see that it does still scale pretty well with these figures which is nice I, I do like this so I'm actually going to remove these two out the way and add in some others so here is the SH Figure Arts Pac-Man figure I think this actually looks pretty well um, next to the Crash figure and then here is a Nendoroid Sackboy figure yeah, I think this right here can actually still work right here. So, yeah, I, I like this. I wanted to add these in because, you know, 3D platforming uh, video game uh, characters right here. You know, Pac-Man World and Little Big Planet. So, I, I think this can still work right here. All right, and now for a bigger comparison, I do want to see how he looks with some 6-inch figures. So, here we have the Jada Toys Ryu figure right here. And then I'll add in the Marvel Legends, the amazing... Uh, Spider-Man figure right here. Uh, so th just to give you an idea of how this crash figure is going to scale, uh, we know with your regular 112 scale figures. Um, this is actually another good comparison to see because the NECA crash figure, I think he's like seven inches, so he's going to like tower over these figures. I, I think he is. I think he is. But I know that's uh, a big figure, and um, I think even Spyro is probably in that scale too. I want to say, I wouldn't know. I kind of just didn't bother on grabbing those. The only crash figure I've ever had was the Resource one uh, way back. Uh, back when, like, KB Toys was still around. Uh, man, I do miss that store. <laughs> but, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, a comparison if you wanted to see how this crash figure is uh, with some other figures. All right, so that is going to wrap up this review on the Head Start Crash Bandicoot figure. I just realized, I think the top of his hair is supposed to be, like, a lighter brown. Or was it red? I can't exactly remember now but overall the figure is decent again it is aimed towards kids so it's not gonna have all the crazy detail i think it's fine enough to add this guy to your collection if you can find it for a solid price i don't know how much it goes for now but if you can get it for a cheap price like i did then i'd say it's great to pick up it's probably the cheapest modern crash figure you're going to get and it doesn't scale too badly with other figures either so i think it's all right for what it is but let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comments down below. You might be able to find this on Amazon or maybe some other online retailers have this. Hopefully it's not too expensive. But I do like it. You know, it's a nice crash figure to add to the collection uh, with other like video game uh, characters that I like to really collect really. So overall, this was, you know, it's okay for me. I do like it. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. But until then, take care my friends.